Alright, let's do the first world known as Sheila's Alt. The reason I'm doing this one first is because later on, when we do another world, we're going to need she Sheila. Um, we need to have this world completed, so... And I mean, we have to do it eventually, so I figured why not just do it now. And since eventually we're going to need Sheila to play as later. So this is one of the big reasons why this one's my favorite Spyro game. Because you get to play as other people besides Spyro. You get to play as, um... Each home world you get a new player to play as. Plus Sparks. And there's... And each world is also... And each home world is also a new Sparks level. Sorry about that. TV... Um, something was wrong with my TV, so I had to switch with another TV, so I just decided to stop recording. And I don't care about you and your pathetic life, freaking Billy Goat. Hmm. Alright, so let's go up here. And because we helped Billy get home, he gives us an egg. That's basically how you're going to get all your eggs in this world. I can't tell what kind of accent these goats have. I know it's European, but I can't really tell. I'm not very good with accents. This guy here is too pathetic to break a rock, so I'm going to break it for him. And now that we helped Pete get home, he's going to give us an egg. Like, just like Billy. And he's doing the chicken dance! Sorry, I just wanted to... Like I said, there's going to be certain dragons that I will show. But most of them I will just skip. Hey, what the hell? I had no idea you could kick those things. You know, I played this game for nine years and I never knew that. Alright, let's move on out of this cave. Alright, go up here. Alright, now, there's a problem here. There's a lot of Rhinox down here, and we'll be able to take them all out without destroying the houses first. So we're going to stomp the houses, and I'm assuming you all know how to stomp, or ground pound, whatever you want to call it. And once they're all destroyed, then you can start just killing them. I think, I don't know, like, there was a glitch one time in this game where a gem actually fell off the cliff. You thought that was a lot of gems, which you see later on. Just wait. So, uh, how about that Modern Warfare 2, huh? Great game. No, seriously, I really love it, but I heard it, something's wrong with it if you have the PC version. I don't have a problem. I don't care, because I, I have it for Xbox, so I'm, I got no problem. Alright, and the rest of the gems will just be up here. Level has 
has been completed. Let's go back to Sunrise Spring and I would end it here, but we're only at four like like five minutes, so I'm not gonna make a five minute video. Just because that level was short. Let's move on to Sunny Villa. Now here is where you're going to see wh what I meant about being three parts. You know, Shields off, you didn't get to see it because it's a bonus character world, so, and those places are really short. Eh, uh, idiot. I love how, like, all the, <gasps> uh, excuse me, um, dragons, or rhinox here are, like, all scared of you. Standard beginner level. Now it kind of helps you get used to the concept of the game. probably knows by now but big enemies are too big to charge so you have to flame them and enemies wearing metal armor fire doesn't affect them so you have to charge them so you should all I'm assuming you all know that by now but just thought I'd let you know I didn't really mean to show you that, I was just wasn't paying attention. By the way, anybody who's watching, please let me know how you feel about doing this game with audio, because Spyro is where a lot of my subscribers came from, and I want to make sure that this walkthrough is done, well, good. Whoa! Almost fell off a cliff there. Yeah, by the way, there will be... Except for maybe the boss level, the second boss, since he's like the hardest boss in the game, there will be no deaths in this. I can't guarantee that for the second boss, though. We'll, we'll do the bonus levels after. Let's finish the level. Then we'll do the bonus levels. Alright, so basically what she's trying to tell you is that when she zaps you like that, that means your progress has been saved. So if I, so let's say I died, I would go back to that exact spot. And that's a giant chicken. Ah, uh, poor chicken. I think these people are Greek. Or like, that's what they're supposed to be, is Greek. Cause I, well, I noticed they wear togas, so that's why I say that. And also wearing Spartan helmets. Well, the Rhinox are. We'll see, like, these guys wear togas, and the Rhinox wear Spartan helmets. That's why I figure they're Greek. You know, our school, our school mascot's a Spartan. My high school. Well, like, that's what our team is, the Spartans. Alright. Alright, I think we'll do the skateboarding one first, which is this one. Hi, Spiral. This'll take a while since we have to do the two missions here in Collect All Treasure. 
Alright, so what we're trying to do is we're basically, in this game, you're going to be using a skateboard a lot. And that was one of the big things of why this game was so popular. Or this specific one. This is another reason why this one's my favorite. Because you get to use a skateboard. So, it's basically a training now. You're just learning how to use a skateboard. By taking out all these lizards. Don't worry if you wipe out on the board.